So we've covered inserting documents, or more technically indexing new documents, using the JSON format within a REST API. And don't worry, we'll show you other ways of doing it later on in the course where you don't actually need to use curl and write REST queries by hand. But if you remember right, when we tried to insert the movie ID for Interstellar a second time from that bulk import in the previous lecture, we got back an error because that, that movie ID already existed. So you might ask yourself, how do I actually change a document or update a document which has already been indexed? Well, let's get into that. Turns out it is possible. But here's the thing. In Elasticsearch, documents are immutable. You can't actually change a document once it's been written. But they give you a workaround for this. Elasticsearch automatically maintains an underscore version field on every document that you put into it. So what you can do to update a document is to create a new copy of that document with an incremented underscore version number. All that matters is that the unique ID for the document and its version together are unique. So you can have multiple versions of a given document and Elasticsearch will automatically use the most recent version that you've created. So when you do an update request on Elasticsearch, what really happens is a new document, an entirely new document gets created with an incremented version number and then the old document gets marked for deletion. Elasticsearch will do a cleanup pass later on whenever it feels the need to do so, and at that point, the old version will go away. So that's what it really looks like, how it really works. Here's what an actual update request looks like from curl. You do a post request for this as opposed to a put or a get, followed by the usual host name and port number, of course. We then specify the index that we want, which is in our case is movies, the default underscore doc type, and then the movie ID, in our case 109487, followed by underscore update. So that means we want to take this existing record and only update one or more fields of it. So in this JSON request, we're saying that under the doc format here, we're going to update the title and nothing else. And it doesn't really matter so much if it's really different or not. Uh, but this command is just saying that I only want to change the title field of the existing document for document ID 109487 copy over everything else that existed in the previous existing version, and it will create a new copy of this document with an updated title that has a new version number. So let's just dive in and see how it works firsthand. So let's see how updates work in action. One way to do an update is to just specify the entire document, including all of its fields all over again, and that will be treated as an update event. So let's try that first. Let's say curl-x put to put in a new document, in this case an updated one, one that we already have. 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 slash movies index underscore doc. Movie ID is 109487. We'll ask for pretty results, dash D, single quote, and start off our body of our request. I'm going to skip the tabs from now on, guys, unless it's like really complicated just to save some trouble. Genres colon open bracket IMAX sci fi square bracket, comma, don't forget the comma, title, interstellar, and let's change the title just to make sure that we can see that something actually changed. We'll call it interstellar foo, or make up some other name that you want, have some fun with it, <laughs> and we'll keep the year as 2014. Close off that curly bracket and single quote, and you can see that it got treated as an update event because we did specify every existing field, and if you note, the version number is now two. So we're no longer at version one, we're now at version two. And that old version one copy that had the title Interstellar is marked for deletion at this point. Let's make sure that change actually got saved so we can search for that movie ID like this, curl-xget 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 slash movies slash underscore doc slash, and we're gonna give the doc ID, which is 109487, question mark pretty. And sure enough, our title is now Interstellar Foo, and the version is still number two. All right, so let's do a partial update this time, just changing the title back to what it should be. This is gonna be what we showed in our slides earlier on. To do that, we can say curl-x post. We're gonna use the post verb here for doing a partial update. 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 slash movies slash underscore doc slash 109487 slash underscore update, saying that we would just want to do a partial update of this document, slash dash D single quote, curly bracket, and under the doc, we're going to change the title back to interstellar. 
close curly, close curly, single quote. All right, came back with a successful response, so that looks promising. Let's do that search again to make sure that it's stuck. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow to go back in my history here, and that will save me some typing. And sure enough, the title is back to Interstellar, and our version number has now been updated to version three. So again, versions one and two are out there somewhere being marked for deletion in the next cleanup phase. But from now on, that version three, that newest one, is what we're going to get back. So we've created two new copies of Interstellar with different changes in it to get back to where we started here. And eventually, Elasticsearch will clean up those old documents later on. But again, the concept here is that the documents themselves are immutable, but we're using that underscore version field to actually keep track of what the latest revision is. Now again, if you reinsert this document as a whole, that will too be treated as an update. So we can use our up arrow to go back on our history again and reinsert that entire document again. Uh, let's just change that title to the correct title <laughs> and hit enter. And you can see that our version is now up to version four. It changed yet again. So that was treated as yet another update. The result is updated. And if we do our search again, we can see that we still have the correct title. So that's how updates work in Elasticsearch in a nutshell. You can either specify every field as a put command, and that will be treated as an update, or you can do a post with a partial update to just change one field or a subset of the fields of the information. So that's how updates work, and let's keep on going.